We're rolling, 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 rolling. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? My name is Armina, and after two years of not being on YouTube, taking a break, kind of getting to re learn myself, relearn myself, I am back and I am feeling better than ever. Now, as you can see by the title of this video, I decided I'm going to start this whole new YouTube era with a bathing suit haul. I haven't done haul videos before, I haven't watched a haul video before, at least not any time recently before filming this, and I'm kind of just winging it, not gonna lie, so have some mercy in the comment section below, and don't try to rip on me too hard. But... The reason why I'm doing this video is because a couple weeks ago I was on Instagram and I was looking through their stories and I was checking out all my friends' stories and you know how Instagram likes to have those ads pop up for the little companies that they're sponsoring? Well, one of those companies that they're sponsoring is called Zaffle and no, this is not a paid promotional video. I'm not sponsored. I wish I was because then your girl would be getting paid to buy clothes. But I looked at it and I was like, Dang, they have my two favorite things, affordable and cute bikinis, which is what I am in the market for because summertime is literally now. It's not five months from now, it is right now. And I can't go in store to Hollister to go buy a cute 70% off bikini, no. And I'm not gonna go on Tilly's and buy $20 bikini tops and a $30 bikini bottom to match because I'm not trying to spend $50 on a piece, like a cute like outfit. So I was like, you know what, I don't know much about this website, but everyone seems pretty happy with them. Everyone looks real cute in them, so why not take a shot and buy my own? I bought about 11 to 12 different swimsuit pieces. Not all of them are going to be featured in this video, but the ones that I have currently will be. And shipping took approximately 10 days, which is honestly not bad considering it was coming from china so i took my time you know i let it sit tried not to get any sort of ickies from it all that stuff and lo and behold when i opened up the package they came in these adorably cute little reusable um resealable baggies absolutely in love with it because it has their logo so i will not forget what company i bought it from and you can which my mom pointed out Keep these when you're using them on trips so it's easy to know what bikinis you have, what bikinis you don't have. You can let them dry in here. And I like it because I have little storage bins and I tend to just throw my clothes into the bin sometimes, specifically more so like my bikinis and things like that. And this saves me so much space. So instead of just having it all wild in my cabinets and it's just everywhere and it's gross and I have to find the tops and my bottoms, etc, etc, etc. I can just grab one of these baggies and know which bikini I'm trying on or what bikini I'm going to be putting on for the day. And when I'm done with it and it's all washed and said and done, I just throw it back in here and I put it back in my little cabinet and then bam, everything's still organized. But enough of me rambling because I know that's what you guys are all thinking about. Let's try on these cute little bathing suits, see if they hold up to their quality name. Alrighty guys, so this is actually the bikini that inspired this entire swimsuit haul. It had caught my eye for a couple of reasons, but most importantly because it's strapless, and let's be real, no girl's in love with an awkward strap tan. I am so absolutely in love with the color because I don't own much army green and I've wanted to incorporate it in my wardrobe for a while, and the bottoms fit so well without being snug. My booty doesn't quite fill it the way it should, but it does cover just enough to make it very family friendly. So next up is this super cute reversible sunflower bikini. The flowers pictured on the website, as you can see right next to me, don't quite match with the physical suit that they shipped me, but I do love how thin the straps are and how vibrant the bottoms look. The underwire on this suit is visible, which I hadn't noticed on the site, and to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I promise it's not at all uncomfortable. On the back, it is designed to be cross-strapped, which I absolutely love, and much like the green bottoms, they are fitted, but they're not necessarily snug. Considering I have another set of bottoms for one of my other pieces that you'll see, I would definitely wear these ones sunflower side out. Alrighty guys, so this suit has to be my favorite one thus far. 
the top fits perfectly and I absolutely love the cute cutout in between the cups. Much like the front, the back has this very cute yet simple cutout as well. And unlike the other bottoms, I find these ones are the least high rise thus far. The straps are removable as you can see in the picture, so in reality it's just a matter of your preference. So suit number four is this super cute braided pineapple bikini with these bright yellow bottoms to match it. I actually did improvise the front cross tie that y'all see because A, the straps are way too long, and B, because it bothered me how uneven the excess string actually is. I really like this look a ton and would prefer it to a simple bow tie or ribbon knot in the back because without the cross tie there is just way too much string hanging and your girl might accidentally show something that she does not want to show. The top is so well fitted as well as the bottoms, the material is silky, smooth, and comfortable, and pineapples just happen to be my favorite thing. This next bikini is super cute yet very simple. It has this adorable knot in the front giving it a little bit of flavor and personality without overdoing it whatsoever. The bottoms are very well fitted but not so much so that your booty is going to fall straight out of it and I find it perfect for family events because it's not too showy but the palm tree leaf design is fun and matches with the colors so well making it a great bathing suit for the summertime. Okay guys so this here is the first out of two mustard color bikinis that I bought. I am absolutely in love with it and I think it is beyond cute. However, the biggest issue I have with this suit is that the straps are insanely uneven. While they're nice to have, I 100% don't recommend even bothering with them because the top fits snug enough that the extra support really isn't necessary. I love the shoelace tie in the front and while this may not be totally family friendly, how obviously cheeky it sits in the back because then you can avoid the awkward suntan like the one that I have. On the side, they have these super cute cutouts that you can wear either close or far depending on how you like it, making it either a high or low rise suit, which the other one lacks to do. Alrighty guys, so this suit is actually one of my other favorites for a couple of reasons. Not only is it my favorite color, but the top is also incredibly complimentary to my body with just a simple tug on the tie. It matched very well to the color and quality presented in the picture next to me, which honestly I was pleasantly surprised about. Once again, the bottoms are comfortably fitted without being too showy, and I would definitely wear this around my family without feeling self-conscious about the way that I look. This suit does also come with a single strap that I chose not to feature because I didn't feel like I needed the extra support, but it doesn't take away from the look if you do decide to have it on. I 100% recommend this one, but I may just be a little biased. Okay guys, so here is mustard bikini number two. I am going to be completely honest and let y'all know that it was the model that definitely sold this swimsuit for me. As you can see, it does come with removable straps. However, the straps are completely unnecessary because the top is so snug, there is absolutely no way your girl could have a nip slip. Unlike the pineapple bikini, this swimsuit was designed for the cross tie in the front, giving you plenty of extra straps to style for yourself. And the bottoms aren't so obviously cheeky, but I would definitely think twice about wearing this around family. The bottoms are snug and sit a little high rise, and as I've said before, the top is unmovable, making it perfect to do any fun water sport activities. Alright guys, so we are on the last suit, and while the top is so incredibly cute, it doesn't have any underwire. <laughs> Yikes. I've actually struggled to avoid showing any under boob with this top, but I was absolutely in love with the single strap design that I couldn't help but throw it in my cart. I really do think I might get this altered, or maybe do a DIY with it by adding an elastic band right underneath so that it sits nice and tight. The award for best bottoms does go to this suit. It is so family friendly and snug, fitting my booty so well, which is all your girl could really ask for. Alrighty guys, so there you have it, my first ever review and haul video. I hope you guys like this video. If you liked it, please hit that like button down below. And if you want to see more content from me, subscribe. I promise I have more coming. Good way to help me out and keep that content coming would be to comment down below what you guys want to see next. Comment what your favorite bikini was and if you guys liked the video, of course. And I'll go ahead and link up all those bikinis down below so that you guys can go ahead, check them out, see which ones you like. Maybe you guys will see something that I didn't necessarily like but you think is your style. Yeah.
But either way, y'all stay safe. You guys have a great and fantastic day, evening, morning, whatever it is, whatever time of the day you guys are watching it. And I will see y'all next time. Toodaloo!